on the fly. I've never tried it. Have you tried it? It's completely new to me and I've come to Manor Lakes, which is a complex of six carp fishing lakes. And today I'm going to fish Damsel Lake with Witchwood's Tom Finney. So without further ado, let's get into it. As Tom was playing the fish, it was of some concern that there was a large bank of weed in front. Tom explained that the fish could get trapped in there and we would never be able to get it back. So after a quick scout up the bank, we found a peg that had less weed and Tom decided to take the fight up to that peg, where he would have a much better chance of landing the fish. Five pond with the net, so that's 23, 22 pound fish. Was it a good take? Oh, I've seen it, mate. Head and tailed, head oh. and tailed, cracking. Just, just like trout fishing, really. The take was about the only thing that was similar to trout fishing. When you hook a trout, the fight is usually furious and fast, and it's all over in between a minute and two minutes, depending on the size of the fish. With carp. They're big fish and they've got a huge paddle. They don't do anything particularly quickly, but they do it with purpose and power. Run out of it. What you want to do yeah. is they'll always pull away from the rod. So if you aim the rod that way, hopefully you'll kite around this side. But if he's near weed, just, just let him run. First cap on the fly. Wow, what a beast. Now, carp on the fly, all I've brought along with me is my, I've got my Q 9 foot 6 for a 7 weight with a floating line. I'm using 10 foot of fluorocarbon to this dog biscuit fly that I tied up yesterday. It takes no time at all to whittle up a few of these, and that's all you need. So, Tom is going to talk us through some of the speciality kit that we require to do carp on the fly. So, Tom, over to you. Yeah, so. As, as Lindsay's already spoken, your usual reservoir kit will more than capable of handi handling a carp. Doesn't need to be expensive. The flow rods it retail for under 70 quid. Brilliant rods for the job. So your normal trout net, however, is not really going to suffice for these carp. You need a proper big net, especially if you're fishing a lake that's got specimens like this. I did this. bring my trout net and you just laughed. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this here's a, a a net by Witchwood. I think this is a riot net. Um, you know, it's a fairly cheap, fairly cheap net, 42 inches. You'll fit any size carp in it. Um, there's loads of nets in the range, but a big net is a must. You can also easily undo these, which makes um, eat, makes um, lifting fish out of the water quite easy. Next thing, absolutely essential for when you carp fishing, is an unhooking mat. 
This one's a foldable one by, um, by Witchwood. I think it's a Tactical HD sling mat. And the good thing about this one is you can actually fold it up, zip it up and carry all your stuff in it, which is quite handy when you're roving. Another thing is a waist sling. Now, these come in all shapes and sizes, but I particularly like this one. This is a Tactical HD floating sling because you can leave that in the margin with the fish zipped up is, in it. Is there anything with DPM on known as tactical, is, it? is that? <laughs> with it, yeah. <laughs> Just put DPM on and DPM. call it tactical, that'll yeah, sell shit. DP, yeah, <laughs> cool, but yeah, anyway, so, I like the camo, so so fish can't see it. But um, yeah, that will keep your fish secure. You can, you can use it to transport your fish back to the water and releasing, and you can weigh your fish in this. Very handy piece of kit. Pair of scales, these are the T-bars, but any any scales for weighing your catch. And a bucket of some description. This one's handy, it's just a collapsible EVA bucket. Um, you need that for wetting your unhooking mat in the heat, wetting the fish, keeping the fish hydrated. And also, it's tradition in carp fishing that if your mate hooks a PB, you've got to give him a soaking. Yeah. You've so, already had that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, he's already had that, but he looked a bit hot there, so we just needed to get that in. And yeah, today we're actually using the baiting approach. So as Lindsay said, we're using a fly that looks like a dog biscuit. And I've got some, some sort of chum mixers in this box just to induce the take and get them feeding. You don't need to go this approach though. You can catch them blind, you can catch them on dry flies. You can even catch them on nymphs and lures. There's lots of ways to catch carp on the fly. But today, we really want to show you some fish for the camera. It's not purest fly fishing what we're doing, but it is really good fun. And like I said, we're going to try our best to get some more fish for the camera for you. So yeah. it's an easy approach when they're seeing a lot of bait. The fish are not easy, mind you. They're heavily pressured. They're very wise, rig shy. So yeah. you get a lot of refusals, but when you hook up, boy, is it exciting. Yeah, so what, um, so I'm a trout fisherman out and out, you know, I, I do a lot of lock style fishing, a lot of river fishing, but in the months of July and August, the weather starts to heat up, trout fishing on the reservoir becomes a real chore. And uh, this is just maybe an option you might want to look at as an alternative, go down your local carp fishery. Uh, it's very cheap. I mean, Tom tells me this is a relatively expensive fishery at £15 for a day ticket, but uh, I think that's pretty reasonable. It's still really good. Fish. And uh, the other thing I would say is, as Tom says, these fish are seeing a lot of pressure, and what it does make you do is concentrate on your casting. So you can see lots of fish, sometimes they're at distance, sometimes they're in close, but they won't tolerate bad casts. You've got to get your fly a couple of feet in front of them, and that's when you'll get the opportunity to hook up with one of them. It doesn't mean you're going to catch it, because they're very big and they're very strong. And uh, I think Tom's missed a couple already, haven't you? And I've certainly sure. missed one, but we've managed to get a couple into the... Uh, the weighing mat, and it's been great fun so far. So let's see how we get on this afternoon. As the day got hotter, the fishing got hotter still. Tom hooked up another fish, and this time it run his backing nearly all the way to the end of the reel. This time it was a mirror carp, which he was pleased to add to his tally. I had already hooked and lost a good fish in the weed in front of the platform. This time when the fish took, it ran straight to the centre of the lake, giving me a better opportunity to get it under control. The fight was long and hard, about 30 minutes, but eventually I got it onto the bank. Tom weighed the fish and told me it was 23 pounds. This is the largest fish of any description I've caught in the UK and I was over the moon with the capture. Apparently, it's a tradition that when you catch a new personal best, that you take a dunking from your friend, and Tom duly obliged, 
I must admit, it was fantastic in the heat to get that cold water thrown over me. After that fish, what can I say? Uh, I'm, I'm going to fish on, but I just thought while I'm on a high, I would finish the video off. 23 pounds is the biggest fish I've caught in any country, and uh, I'm really pleased about that. Cart fishing, what do I make it then? Well, I've done um, pike fishing this year, trout fishing, and I've now done cart fishing. So the pike fishing is like a 100 meter sprint, and the trout fishing is a three minute round in the boxing ring, and the cart fishing's an absolute marathon. So that last fish, I must have played it for 20 minutes. My arm was about to fall off, uh, and I wasn't far away from St. Tom, there's the rod. Fate's prevailed and I managed to land it and it's been an absolute education. If you enjoy dry fly fishing for trout, you've got to give this a go. Very visual, very active. Now, if you're interested in trout fishing, why don't you check out this video? I'm sure you'll enjoy it and I'll see you all next time.